Tim Flowers. I'm with the Skidder Group at the Davenport Training Center. And what we have here is the brand new L2 L Series Skidder. And we're going to talk about some of the features that it features and improvements that we've created for this particular model. We have new electrical harnesses. We have color-coded connectors so you know which connector goes where. You have plastic sheathing along all the harnesses that allows movable joints so when you disconnect a sensor or solenoid you can move that wiring harness out of the way and put it back in its place without damaging a harness. There are a lot of harness updates along with moving them from the bottom side of the framework we moved everything to the top side. In the dusty environment of the skitter world a lot of dirt and debris accumulation occurs in the belly of the machines especially when they have the belly pans on. So we move the harnesses up above so they're easier to access and easier to check for any damages from stick encroachment. We also have on the L2 soft steering stops. That improvement for, is going to be twofold improvement. One, the operator is going to notice it immediately. He's going to find out that operating the machine is more comfortable there's less jarring when you get to the full articulation stop. You'll also notice that the steering stops are able to be calibrated. So if the customer decided to change out their 30.5 size tires to 35.5s or they decided to add duals to their machine, they can recalibrate those steering stops so your tires will not compact each other and they can keep running in a, about 30 seconds is how long it takes to calibrate. That is a big improvement for our customers so they can make that change very quickly and very efficiently. Another change we made is the rear controller on our machines, the attachment control unit which handles all the functions for the rear. That has been relocated from a lower position to a higher position that has increased the harness uh, routing improvements and it's gotten the harness in a higher position for the swamp logger that keeps going into a deeper and deeper terrain because the machine is so powerful it has the ability to go further than it ever has before. We also want to talk about our engine pre-cleaners. John Deere has come up with an underhood engine pre-cleaner that handles the heavy dust and debris that is in the dry conditions out in the field and we've done that all with a heavy duty pre-cleaner that has no dust unloader valve. Therefore, it's already taking that dust and debris and exiting away from the filter prior to the air introduction. So we are maximizing the life of the air filters for the long term, making our customer requests answered. We also have new component locations for our severe duty filters. So we have our severe duty filter located at this post and what we've done is we moved that in line with the rest of the fuel filters plus we gave greater access to our engine oil filter for ease of service. This is going to make it easier on our operators, our technicians and our customers to service this machine quickly and efficiently. We also have one of the lowest consuming depth systems in the industry. So with the tier four emissions, we had to come up with a, another way to get rid of the NOx emissions per government regulations. In doing so, we have a five and a half gallon depth tank located in the side step that's very well protected. On that depth tank, we've created a new depth cap which has a wiper seal on it that compresses as you install it. That wiper seal will move the dust and debris away from the opening so that we keep clean fluid entering the systems without causing contamination and having to remove it. We also have new jump start posts in a more convenient location for our customers. Should you leave a radio on out in the field and your batteries go dead, we take our protective caps off of each one of our battery posts, our positive and our negative posts are easily accessible. 
you can bring over your Wild Feller Buncher, that's an L2 series, and you can actually hook up the cables and jump start each other's machines. This maximizes the uptime for the customer when the operator may have forgotten to turn the radio off. Quick and efficient for this 24 volt system that we've never seen in the industry before.